Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play XCOM UFO Defense, and when last we left off, we built our first base here in the Dominican Republic, and we need to very quickly start doing things, because time is ticking away whenever we're on that geoscape. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start researching something, and we have various choices. We can do laser weapons, motion scanners, or the medikit, and when we have an option for zappy pew pews, you know I'm going to start researching Zappy Pew Pews. With only 10 scientists, it's going to take a little while. We can't manufacture anything because we have nothing to manufacture, but what we're going to do is we're going to remove things off the Sky Ranger, things I'm not going to be using, like pistols. We have no reason to use a pistol. We're also going to, uh, remove things like the heavy cannon and all this ammunition. I generally just don't use them. And we're going to get rid of, uh, these things here, the grenades. We don't want them. We do want a rocket launcher, though. I just like having a rocket launcher on the uh, Sky Ranger, just in case we need to get through something with a lot of armor. We don't want anything else that we have in the stores, so we're going to go and sell these things. It uh, only gives us a tiny amount of money, but every single bit of money does help, especially considering the fact that we are about to spend a lot of money on things to improve our base, like some more equipment. We're going to get some uh, stun rods so that we can incapacitate aliens. We're going to get an electro flare, or ten, just in case we go into a mission where it's dark. We're also going to get a few more rifles, and we're also going to get uh, a couple more clips of ammunition. We could get more Sky Rangers and Interceptors, but we would need some more uh, hangers to do that. We can, however, get 22 more personnel. We're going to get two more soldiers, and ten more scientists and engineers. And now that we have the uh, research set, the only thing we're going to do now is we're going to build some facilities. We really need some alien containment. If we get any aliens that are alive, we can't do anything with them right now, so we're going to put that there. We're also going to get some more general stores, which we're going to place right here. And lastly, we have a large radar system, which will give us a little bit more range, and will also give us a second thing that will try and detect UFOs. This will try and detect UFOs independently of this. In the original game, the percentages just stacked up, we're going to have uh, that there, so that we have two individual chances of finding uh, UFOs. And now we're just going to let time pass. Note that uh, while we're not doing anything, we are actually doing something. That radar system is trying to find UFOs, and the aliens are also trying to do things as well. At the moment, they'll be launching missions to go to various places and do certain things. When they succeed at missions, they gain points. If they kill our operatives, they also get points. Whereas if we stop their missions and succeed at our own, we also get points. Here are various things that we want to uh, equip onto the Sky Ranger. We'll just uh, put them here. Well, the uh, rifle there. We'll also put the uh, stun rods and the electro flares. Always useful to have. And I believe in uh, this uh, configuration with these soldiers, Sub-Zero, Barry, and Gaston will actually be the first ones out of the Sky Ranger, whereas the people at the bottom here will be uh, exiting last. Something to remember. Let us now have time, keep moving forward. One of two things will happen. We'll either get the personnel, or we'll finish the research, or we'll find a UFO. I think at the beginning, the game is rather generous in uh, giving us time to prepare. We now have our various uh, people. Let us allocate uh, 10 more scientists to laser weaponry. Now progress for that is excellent. And we have two more soldiers that we are now going to uh, rename. You are going to be Dr. Grant. We always needed you with us. And you, of course, are going to be Awesome Possum. Glad to have you on board. We now have uh, 10 soldiers, the maximum that we're going to have for a little while. Let us equip the Sky Ranger, there we go. And we could have four more uh, soldiers, or we could have a tank. We're not going to have a tank. A tank might be quite handy, but I generally didn't use them. We're just going to wait. Aha! Laser weaponry. We could start researching the laser pistol. 
a very good idea. The laser pistol is a great weapon. Laser weaponry in general is pretty great because it doesn't require ammunition. Some things that we manufacture will generate a profit, but not that, really. Not a sizeable one, anyway. In general, we always want the, uh, manufacturing to be manufacturing something. Especially something that will be, uh, making us money. We do need XCOMs, uh, to have, uh, support from the funding nations, but even though we get money from them, most of our money will be coming from ourselves, and there was an autosave. We're just going to keep waiting. Aha! The general stores have been built, and, uh, as you can see, all of these things build at the same time. In the original game, they didn't. And we have finished, uh, researching laser pistols. The laser pistol is an effective implementation of new technology. It has the firing convenience of a pistol, with faster and more accurate firing. We could start uh, researching the laser rifle. We're actually going to research the med kit, because it's a very important thing to have. And now we can manufacture a laser pistol, which we're going to do. We're actually going to manufacture ten of them. We want enough of these for each member of the squad. We could have a maximum of, uh, 50 people in a research thing, and as you can see, two of the spaces have been uh, allocated to actual manufacturing. So, we can only have a maximum of 48 there. We're just going to keep waiting, though, and see what happens. Will there be... Ah! There is a UFO, and it's literally right next to our base! Oh dear. Oh dear. UFOs can be on the ground or in the air. If they're on the ground, that means that all of the uh, aliens will be there in the mission. If you shoot down a UFO, there will be some damage to the UFO, and some of the aliens will hopefully also be dead. Let us see what happens if we go to that mission. How many laser pistols do we have? We have two. That's hopefully going to be enough. It's probably not going to be enough. We have to intercept this as soon as possible. We could send an interceptor to uh, go and uh, fly over the UFO just in case it escapes, but we're just going to send the Sky Ranger. It's really not far away. I'm really worried that, that is so very close to where we are. Let us uh, let ourselves get there. It didn't take that long. And here we are, ground assault number one. We need to kill all of the aliens. Only once we've done that can the uh, recovery of the UFO artifacts and alien corpses then be initiated. If you want to abort the mission, try and get all of your operatives back onto the transport and then press the abort mission icon. Keyword is try. Okay, Sub-Zero, you want this pistol. You also don't want that, and you want this. And uh, we can create an inventory template here. Seems like a good idea. Then we want to uh, apply an inventory template. There we go. And we now want to just have you equipped with that. Yes, that seems like a good idea. You equipped with that, you equipped with that. That's good, that's good, that's good. We want you to actually have a gun. That might be a good plan. And we want Awesome Possum to be the one that's equipped with the rocket launcher. You never know when uh, we might need a rocket launcher. Let's start the mission. And already, we are in a little bit of bother. You can see that uh, there are three of these red icons. That means that there are three aliens. Three aliens that are literally right next to us. There's a fourth one over there. We need to kill these as soon as possible. We also need to make sure that uh, we don't die horribly in the process. Now, which of these is most likely to uh, be killed if we were to shoot? Now, these aliens have uh, active turn units. Turn units are what we use to uh, do various things, be it moving, crouching, shooting, using items, or anything else. Or uh, ascending and descending things, climbing stairs, anything that we do takes up actions. They're a problem. All of these uh, aliens are a problem. And we can't move because this alien is right here. If we click here, we have various different options to uh, fire. 
The aim shot has a 40% accuracy, but takes up 29 of our turn units. The snap shot has a 24% accuracy, and takes up nearly a third of the uh, type units of the aim shot. And the auto shot takes a little more than the snap shot, but has even less accuracy, but does fire three times. Right now, I don't know which one we want to do. What about your accuracy? How accurate are you? You're a little... well, it's 26% accuracy there, whereas you have 24% accuracy. You're actually a little more accurate. We may want to uh, use an aim shot on this alien here, and then see about taking care of those two. Suffice to say, this is not a desirable first mission. Ideally, you'd want the uh, aliens to be uh, scattered about and then you would go and look for them. They all appear to be in this building, waiting for us. Let's see how badly this can go, eh? We have a 44% chance of hitting, or we could have three 18% chances. If we decide to shoot and we miss, we will have 25 actions left. We could do another snapshot, and then we could try and move away, to say there. Well, let's see what happens. We are going to select, uh the aim shot. We're going to click here. You can see that the uh, reticule for firing has changed from red to yellow. Good luck, Barry. That was a fine shot indeed. One alien down. Unfortunately, there is another alien right there. We could try and shoot one of these aliens. We're probably going to have to try. I think a snapshot might be a good idea. So if we try one shot and then have you move, that's probably the best chance that we've got. That was a brilliant shot, Barry! Fantastic! We need you to get out of here now, so we'll have you move. You can see there the uh, route that we're going to take and also how many uh, turn units that we have at the end. That is a change that OpenXCOM does. So you have now moved, which means that another soldier could start taking shots. We can't shoot all of the aliens, though, because we don't have a uh, line of fire on all of them. Let's have you take a few shots, shall we? I think an aim shot of 40% accuracy? That was a miss. It's to be expected that eventually we would miss. Let's see if we can hit you with the snapshot. No. Time for you to move. I think to here is a good idea. Behind... oh, that's not good. That's really poor. So we're going to have to have you, Gaston, see if you can take a shot. We have an aim shot of 55%. See what happens. And unfortunately, the alien shot back. As you can see, there was a miss all round, which is handy, but we don't have enough uh, turn units to do anything else, except move away, which we're going to have to do. We're going to have to move away. Uh-oh, there was another shot there. The aliens are quite accurate. Fortunately, uh, they weren't entirely accurate. We really need to take care of these other two aliens. We need to take care of you as well. We'll start with this one. This one has already used most of uh, its turn units. The turn units uh, refresh at the, the end of uh, every turn. We can also see various things here, like uh, health and uh, morale. We can also decide that we can expend all remaining time units by default. Uh, we can reserve time units for various kinds of shots, and we can reserve time units for kneeling. There are other options, like move unit to above uh, floor, and the uh, view the above uh, floor and the below floor, the mini-map. Being able to look at the inventory, selecting the next unit, the multi-level view, ending turns, aborting turns, all of these things are things that we could do. Right now, what we want to do is we want to take care of you. A 62% shot. Off we go! Excellent. The third alien has been felled. Unfortunately, we still need to take care of one more. If we have you move to here, Guild Pirate can see the fourth alien. Yar, I be getting a good shot on this one. Whatever you say, Guild Pirate, take your shot. That was a terrible shot. A really bad shot. We'll have you move over there. It is now, I think, uh, Craden's turn. Can Craden do what the others could not, which is uh, kill this alien? 72% accuracy. And that's what we got for 72% accuracy. Not a lot. 
you actually don't have enough uh, turn units to do very much here. This is bad, because we've pretty much now uh, condemned ourselves to being unable to do anything. Everyone here is jammed in. You might as well crouch. It's probably the best hope that we're going to have. And you might as well crouch as well. There is one alien left. We must end our turn. It's time for the aliens to do something. This alien has decided... Oh, there is another alien! Did you see the fifth alien there? There were some shots, but nothing really happened. So there are multiple aliens. We can see one alien here, but we know that there's one over here. We know there's one there. We could go and get that alien. What we should do right now is see if we can shoot this alien. These aliens are currently armed with pistols. Pistols are not the worst weapon to be uh, going up against, but they're still quite dangerous. Let's see if we can get a 55% accuracy shot. No. So what you need to do is you need to move away. Like that. Just get out of the way, and we'll see if we can uh, deal with this alien. There was an alien that went over here. Can we see this alien? Yes, we can. If you discover the location of an alien, you automatically stop, and we have seen this alien. The problem is, is that we don't have very many accurate uh, ways to deal with it. We're going to try some snapshots here. One, that was a miss. Two, that was also a miss, although we did destroy that fence. Three, a complete miss. And four, an absolutely dreadful miss. Suffice to say, that's not going so well. But maybe we can take care of this alien here. Let's see if we can get another good shot. Crouching does improve your accuracy. And that was a fine shot indeed. Another alien down. We have only one more to go that we can see. It's not looking good for uh, Sub-Zero, though. Not looking good. What we want to do is we want to uh, save enough time units for a snapshot and see about moving out. Aha! You have a shot. We should take it. It'll take all of your uh, time units to get a few shots off. But 31% and you've got to shoot through two windows. It might happen. It didn't happen. But it could have happened. Oh, well. We'd better, we could actually have you shoot again. But actually having you move and then be able to uh, give somebody else a chance to shoot is a pretty good idea. No, we actually want to have you just move right now. There we go. You just move over there and we'll have, nope, we don't want anything else there. We want you to move forward. Like that. And now you can see this alien. Now what do we have here? we have the chance of a 72% accurate shot. But if we take it, and you miss, we can't actually have anybody else fire. So we're actually not going to have you uh, do that super accurate shot, we're just going to try the less accurate shots. Things improve the more you uh, use various things, the more things you carry, your uh, carry capacity will improve. The more shots you make, the more accurate your shots will eventually be. That was a complete miss. That was a huge miss. That was a massive miss. But hopefully we'll be able to have you move away so that somebody else, like Dr. McCoy, can take a chance at uh, dealing with this alien. And so everybody kept trying to shoot this alien. And they all kept failing. I should probably actually do the more accurate shots. But we don't really have the liberty of being able to... Uh, decide that uh, one shot um, decide if we can actually win because we don't want to uh, have everyone die that said if this alien has a grenade we're pretty much doomed because the grenade can just be thrown at the entrance to the sky ranger and we'll lose pretty much every single soldier that we have let's try a few very inaccurate shots a miss and another miss although we did get that wall we really want to uh, have you go over there. It's time for Awesome Possum to... Okay, Awesome Possum. Can you do this? You might be able to, but the problem is, is that we really need... Well, actually, we can't really have you do anything right now, because uh, you trying to do something would uh, pretty much ensure that things would explode violently. We'll just hold off on the rocket launcher. However, we also can't shoot anything, so... Uh, Back you go. Can you actually get there? You can't. Which means that Awesome Possum can't get out. Which means the end of our turn. And a few shots there. That was a miss and a 
miss, we are very fortunate in that those shots were dreadfully inaccurate. Although we can hear uh, somebody else nearby. Oh, it's a larger UFO. That's why we can hear somebody else. I thought it would be a smaller UFO. Turns out I was mistaken. Let us take a few shots, shall we? And see what happens. Can we hit you? We really need to be able to hit you. We're really bad at being able to hit you. We have not been able to hit you. We should just move away. And get somebody else to have a shot. Like you, for instance. We'll let you try. Okay, Gaston. Nobody shoots accurately like Gaston! That was not accurate. Neither was that. None of that was especially accurate. Is there anybody else that has a good shot on this alien? Possibly. But the problem we have is that, uh, there are other aliens around. Let's actually, uh, move people over to here and see if we can see any other aliens. The answer is no, though the UFO is right there. We could have people sneak around and try to, uh, get to where that alien is. You crouching will probably improve your chance of survival a tiny bit. We can just try and brute force shoot where, uh, this is. And we might just try. No line of fire? Fair enough, we can't actually, uh, shoot you there. We could try and shoot this, though. That was actually not a bad shot. Now we actually have a line of fire. It's not a great line of fire, and we're just going to scatter fire here. It could work. It nearly worked. Let's try again. Ooh, a good shot there from Barry. A great shot from Barry. Ensures that nothing bad happens to our soldiers at the moment. But only at the moment we need to reserve some, uh, movement for a, um, or some time for a snapshot as we slowly move closer to this quite large UFO. Right, time units reserved, that's fine. You have no time units reserved, you have time units reserved, you don't. We just need to move everyone out right now. Everyone needs to leave. But that will be for next time. For when we come back, folks, we will continue exploring this battlescape. We will see what is in this UFO. I imagine more sectoids. Those are the enemies that we encountered here. Sectoids, the most basic of foes. But you can't underestimate them, because they're still deadly. And when we come back, folks, we will see about dealing with the rest of them. We may not even lose anyone! Awesome Possum may survive one mission! I don't think that'll happen, but he may. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.